180,000, 400,000. General State of 400 against you, only 420,000, 450,000, 480,000, 500,000, 550,000, 600,000. For you, sir, 969, thank you. 683, thank you. 800,000, 850,000. Robert Spiller now, 900,000 with me and against you, Robert. Mine at 900, Neil Roman, 3,800,000. 3,900,000. You get 53,500,000. 54 million. That's $64,000,000. Ken, your bidder at $64,000,000. Mike Ryan, 16. And I think what comes down to it is, first of all, the rarity and the quality of the material being offered, because this is a very selective market where buyers really understand the caliber of, of material that's being offered, and they make choices, and there is enough money in the market at the moment that when you have something which is of the highest caliber, you will get people to bid, and they'll bid aggressively against other competitors. And so to have a total which goes far higher than our high estimate is a demonstration not only the quality that's out there, but again, the, the breadth of buying and the selectiveness of the collectors who are looking at this market. So in fact the price was extraordinary, but because we're comparing it to something else, a 70s painting versus an 81 painting, there is obviously a feeling that it, it didn't uh, rise to a new price level. It achieved a price level which was consistent to its market for over the last year and a half.